Hi folks, it's Wayne Popovich coming to you from the Corporate Center at Venture RV where today we're going to talk about the uh, 272 VRK Touring Edition. If you have looked at some of our other Touring Edition layouts in the past, uh, you know that uh, we make some of the best large travel trailers in the industry with king beds and the slide outs and, and really uh, basically fifth wheel layouts on travel trailer uh, frames. Uh, we've had a lot of requests though for smaller, more compact uh, uh, touring editions and that's what this is. The 272 has about a 27 foot box so you're looking at right around 31 feet bumper to ball, weighs in around 7200 pounds so easily half ton towable. It's got a lot to offer for such a small camper. So let's get started right in the front here. Uh, like all touring editions, uh, the 272 has a molded wraparound fiberglass front cap. Uh, great looking uh, cap and uh, it's more protection for the front of your camper as well as the, an automotive uh, laminated windshield. Okay. Of course you have the nice accent lights across the top. You have 30 pound LP tanks and electric uh, power tongue jack. And underneath here you've got a battery disconnect switch so when you're storing your 272 it doesn't drain the battery. So all nice features. We turn the corner here and we've got uh, pass-through storage with slam latch baggage doors and magnetic catches so you're never, uh, you don't have to worry about the plastic hooks getting brittle after a couple years and breaking off. You're always replacing those. Um, this is a motion detector light so when you open it up the motion uh, detector turns it on for you, you're not fumbling for a switch. And of course we have the BAL stabilizer jacks. These are electric stabilizers. Uh, there are uh, four stabilizers, obviously, one at each corner, but what's different about the BAL is they have a motor for each leg as opposed to the competition that uses one motor for two legs. Plus, there's a six amp thermal brake in these. If you start to overload the legs or the motor, it'll cut it off before it does any damage. Great feature. Now, the 272 VRK uh, is one of our only layouts that has the bedroom slide out on the camp side. Okay? It's still a king bed on the inside, but when you see the layout, you'll understand why we did that. If, if it was on the other side, you'd walk right into the bed and it'd be tough to get around. So what's nice about this though is you have access to all the underbed storage from your camp side. You don't have to walk around to the other side. Okay? And of course, it's still slam latch baggage doors and magnetic catches. Uh, the Touring Editions come standard with frameless windows as well, which is a great look. If we move along here a little bit, you'll notice that there's a electric uh, awning on the side. Um, and what's nice about these is these are actually adjustable right from the closed position or you can access it when it's open, but it's easy to adjust the pitch. So if you want the water to, to run off one direction or the other, it's easy to do with this, with this uh, selector right here. Uh, and of course it are, uh, also has a uh, automatic rain dump. If it gets more than about 25 pounds of water, it'll dump the water off and then go back into position. That way you never have to worry about waking up in the middle of the night and your awning has, is full of water and you can't even get out your door. So, um, you have 110 and cable output on this side in case you want to bring your TV out and watch the game or whatever. Tires are nitrogen filled, which is a nice uh, benefit. Uh, it gives you better tread life and uh, more consistent tire pressure so you don't get tire wear from the uh, uh, pressure changing. Um, super loop hubs too, you don't have to, have to pull the uh, tires to pack the bearings um, or even adjust the brakes, it's auto adjust brakes. The entry door is um, a friction hinge door and it'll stay in position up to 20, 20 mile an hour gust, which is great because the old style used to have the hook right here. And I don't know about you, but I have a tendency to grab a door and slam it shut. And when you did that, if, the, if it was plastic, it would break the hook or the metal ones actually would pull out of the door or the sidewall. So this is a much better solution. And if you can see that or not, the screen door is equipped with the screen shot door closer. You never have to worry about the kids leaving the door open again. It will close itself automatically. And of course, uh, it comes with the integrated staircase uh, that folds right into the doorway, so it's easy in and out and much more stable than the ones that hang off the bottom frame. 
What's nice about this version of the steps, though, is that they are adjustable. You just push this little lever in and you can slide the arms in or out depending on whether or not you, you know, you're in a swale or there's a little hill outside your door. It's easy to adjust them exactly to the right position. Right? Simple as that. Large uh, entry access handle next door to help you get in and out. And of course you have your uh, Venture uh, dog tie out here, which um, some say you can actually use to open a bottle. So you're going to have to do your own research on that. All right. As we move around to the back, you'll see that we have a built-in ladder that takes you up to a full walk-on roof. All right. And the roof is actually covered with PVC. It's the best membrane roof on the market. Uh, and what's also nice about it is it's easier to fix, it's more resilient than rubber or TPO, and it actually uh, has a higher reflectance value. So especially if you're in a warm climate, you know, uh, keeping your trailer cool in the summertime uh, can sometimes be a challenge. But a roof like this is going to help because it's going to reflect more heat than the other types of roofs. So it keeps it from soaking in or absorbing into your camper. It means your air conditioner is not going to have to work as hard. You couple that with the fact that we double insulate all of our products with uh, residential fiberglass insulation as well as a layer of radiant foil. Um, and that's 360 degrees. It's in the back wall, it's in the roof, it's in the front wall, and it's in the floor component. Um, it really makes a huge difference. Fifth Wheels have been doing that for five or six years now, and they'll tell you that it gets an R value of somewhere R38 in the roof, R52 in the floor. Honestly, I'm not sure exactly how those numbers work because it's a calculation, but I can tell you, you're not going to find a better insulated travel trailer out there. This is one of the best on the market for insulation values. Which in the summertime, you know, means your AC doesn't have to work as hard, which is always a good thing. All right, we've got a four inch tube bumper. It's a great place to store your sewer hoses uh, and whatnot. And uh, new for this year is a two inch uh, accessory receiver. So you can put a rack on the back, you can put uh, a bike holder, all, a kayak rack, all kinds of things can be slid into there. Um, so it's a really nice, uh, really nice feature to have. <clears throat> If you move to the top, you'll see a pre-wire mount for a Furion backup camera, okay, um, which I believe in fully because the one mirror that goes away when you're pulling a camper is your rear view mirror. So uh, the cameras now you can leave on, it's an observation camera, it actually acts as a rear view mirror so you can see who's behind you and you know, if you're going to change lanes or whatever, that's always handy. Cable and satellite hookups, we give you a dedicated satellite hookup here. Because if you're a satellite person and you take your dish and your receiver with you and you plug it in the cable side, there's a booster behind the TV that scrambles that signal. The satellite signal doesn't like to go through that. Some manufacturers give you jumper cables and things to go around that or you have to rewire it. We actually just give you a dedicated line. So your satellite goes here, your cable goes here. Easy peasy. Also new this year, we've added backup lights to our uh, tail lights, so, which is a nice feature. If we slip right around the corner, you will see that we have a hot and cold uh, outside shower. This little valve lets you turn it on and off. Uh, this is great if you're spraying off the kids or the dog or, or whatever. And we always like to put it as close to your, um, your drains as possible so you can use this to wash off your hoses and whatnot. Okay. Of course, right by the right by the outside shower is your city water connection. Okay? And then you also have a black tank flush. So instead of having to carry your hose inside and, and flush out your black tank from the inside, you connect the hose right here and it sprays it out for you. So great feature, nice thing to have. Okay, so that's a, that's a quick once around the outside. Let's go inside and look at the layout and uh, see what you think about the 272 VRK.